our workout of the day. We're gonna get started with 15 calories on the rower, 12 for the females. Then we're gonna come to the floor and do a single leg glute bridge lift. So we wanna keep the heel close to your hip and you're gonna lift and activate glute hamstring. And we're gonna do 10 of these on the right and then 10 of these on the left. Single leg activation there. Then we're going to do a knee hug on the right, a knee hug on the left, and then a V sit up. So we'll do 10 of those. Then we're gonna go into a banded pull apart to pass through when you're Superman, okay? So you're gonna pull apart, then you're gonna pass through. Pull apart, then pass through. And we have 10 of those. Next is your barbell. We're going to do 10 clean grip deadlifts. So hook grip, bar starts mid shin, hips and shoulders rise at the same time. We're staying tight on the way down as well. Then we've got 10 hang power cleans. So if this is your power position, anywhere below the hip above the knee, full extension and shrug, catching on the shoulders. 10 of those. Then we're going to do 10 strict press followed by five push jerks, dip, drive, re-dip. Going then to a snatch grip, so wide with your hook grip, shoulders pulled back. We're gonna do five snatch pulls, just keeping the arms straight from mid shin, up your leg, getting that good extension of the hip. Then we've got five hang power snatches, anywhere below the hip above the knee, we come down with that barbell, we come up, Quick turnover, standing it all the way up. Five of those. So we'll spend some time warming up for our strength. Similar to what we did on Tuesday with our snatches, we've got power cleans and jerks. And a 14 minute EMOM with increasing percentages, okay? So the power clean from mid shin, upper back nice and tight here. You wanna make sure that the shoulders are slightly in front of the bar. Slowly pull to the knee. We extend the hips. We're staying vertical in our torso. Fast turnover, catching on the shoulders. From here, we can dip, drive, re-dip on the push jerk, or we can split jerk, which we do have more time today. So in the strength, split jerks are good to work on today. Dip, split. So the torso stays vertical. I've got a bend in my back knee. My front knee's bent, but not beyond the toe. I step in with my front foot, I step in with my back foot, then the bar comes down. So today would be a good day to work on our split jerks and the straight, just because we have more time, and it's an EMOM style, okay? So try to work on split jerks and the strength if you can. For our workout, we will do a long cardio workout today. So we've got 100 calories on the rower for the guys, 80 for the females. Pacing that should be 12 to 15 calories a minute. Okay, then once you get off the rower, you can come down and breathe, and we have 50 sit-ups. So all the way down, sit all the way up so your shoulders break the hip crease, okay? So using your core there. After our sit-ups, we will stand up with 40 hang power cleans. Ideally, four sets of 10 would be a good way to pace this. We have a hook grip. We deadlift the bar up to the hang position. So anywhere below the hip above the knee, we come up the leg, like you're jumping, full extension, and then stand all the way up. So 40 hang power cleans, okay? Then we come back down to the floor for 50 sit-ups. And again, no arm sit-ups, all the way down, sitting all the way up so the shoulders break the hip crease. Then we go back to the rower and we end with 100 calories for the guys, 80 for the females. We'll cap today's workout in about 20, 25 minutes. So try to get as far as possible in that amount of time today, okay? Good kind of active recovery workout though, um, to hit mostly cardio after several of the workouts this week have been a little tough. For our stretching today, we're gonna start one minute on each side with double needle. So thread the needle, looks like this, and it's gonna be a flat needle, so you'll lie down on this one. One minute on this side, and then one minute on this side, with the palms down, okay? Then we've got a minute half saddle, which looks like this. 
leaning back here with a bent knee. Then we'll go into leaning lizard. So you want the knee out to the side, elbow coming down towards that ankle. One minute on each side. Next, we'll come into puppy dog. So your hips are a little higher on this one and you're pressing your armpits down. This will hit your shoulders and your upper back. Then we go into pigeon on each side. So ankle close in line with that knee. And you can stay on your hands or come down to your elbows. And then we will finish with saddle eagle. So this gets the mid to upper back as well as the quads. So you're sitting on your heels, right arm underneath your left for a minute, and then left arm underneath your right for a minute, okay? So you'll hit the quads as well as mid to upper back there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's workout of the day. We'll see you soon. Bye.